today I will be showing you how to make the best of the best of carbonara pasta. Now move to the ingredients. It's important to have at least a pound of rigatoni. It's important that are authentic Italian rigatoni. Then you need four eggs, yolk. Then you need uh, the ground pepper, then the salt for the water. It's important to have pancetta in cubes and also half a pound of parmigiano pecorino. It's better that you have pecorino, fresh pecorino. Pancetta is important to have at least half a pound. What is your number one tip as a chef to make the best carbonara? Set aside some water to ensure creaminess in your sauce. Why should we trust you as someone to teach us how to make carbonara? First of all, because I am 100% Italian. As we can tell from your accent. Yeah. I discovered carbonara when I moved from the north of Italy to the south of Italy. I, I moved to Rome where I spent a almost 15 years of my life and it's there that I discover carbonara and I fall in love with it. But how long ago did you move here? Now it's five years, almost five years that, that I'm living yeah. here. Great and how often do you make carbonara? It's one of my best uh, dishes and I love to prepare carbonara and uh, at least uh, oh, one every two weeks. The first step is to, to add a little bit of oil in this pan. Start gently cooking the pancetta. And so you eat a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna add the pancetta. Okay. Gently cooking means that without crisping the pancetta. Okay, only softening. Only softening. And you have some oil in your pan here? Yeah, I, I put and a little bit. And it's medium of. high. As you can see, I separated the white egg from the yolk and now we can start just mixing up this one. Whisking the yolks. Whisking the Only yolks. Only the yolks with uh, adding our... Adding the pecorino. Okay, in a thin stream. Yeah, okay. almost all. Okay. Bye. And you, as you can see, you got you, this is how to create the sauce. Okay, so that's part of the sauce. It's part of the sauce. Okay, now, great. Now it's like this, but then we're gonna add a little bit of uh, pasta water mm -hmm. to create also a creamy sauce. Perfect. While our pancetta is cooking here. Yeah, and now we can also lower the temperature. Lower the temperature. In, in, to be sure that this is gonna release a little bit of the fat, fat and it's not gonna be burned. Now we can add also the pepper. Ground pepper. The ground pepper. And we save also in this case a little bit for the topping. Great. You've put some water to boil, right? Exactly. How much water? Almost uh, uh, you can use uh, a, gallon? a gallon for a pound of pasta. And a pound will feed how many? And a pound is uh, four to five people at least. Perfect. Now we can add the salt. This is uh, for salt. Okay. Uh, two tablespoons. Okay. For a gallon of water is enough. Almost ready. And okay. then when it's boiling, we're gonna add the pasta. I think that uh, it's almost ready because as you can see, there is some teeth that are already uh, a little bit brown and, uh, and the fat is well cooked and they start to be crispy also. Okay, so they've so, released the fat, yeah. number one, 
uh, they look more golden brown than before and they're starting to get crispy. Exactly. Set aside. Perfect. This pancetta is going to be add on top of the pasta at the end before serving. Now we are ready for cooking the pasta. We, the water is boiling. We can add all the pasta and just be sure that it's ready and we can start and we can put the time. The timer for this pasta is more or less between 11 and 13 minutes. So if you want to al dente, it's better to uh, take out after 11 minutes. If you want a little bit more cooked, you can uh, leave for 13. 13 minutes. Few minutes later. So the pasta has been cooking for about four minutes now, enough to let uh, the pasta release some of its starch and give a depth of flavor to the water, right? Exactly. Okay, so you're going to go with a ladle of pasta water. Yeah. Perfect. And see, you're going to mix it in with the eggs and with the cheese and pepper. Exactly. You see? Seven. Eight, seven, seven, <laughs> five, four, three, two, one, zero, time off. And go like this. You don't need water because we have already added and so you, you need to ensure that there is no more water. Then we go like this. Now we can, we can mix with this, that is perfect. And we okay. are ready. You see, that is we have already the sauce on the bottom and now it's done. It's just a matter of incorporating everything together. Exactly. And we are ready. Now we we'll add the, the pancetta. pancetta that we put on the side. And now it's, it's perfect. We can add also with a bit of fat, fat remaining. remaining and everything is, is perfect. Beautiful. And, and so we can also. Be the one you love. I've lost all ambition for worldly acclaim. Now we can add also a little bit more of pecorino at the end. Let us know, let us know. Let us know. Do you want to do some uh, <laughs> salt bay action? And finally, some salt bay. Yeah, let's go. We bought some little bit of pepper. Good. It's not salt, but <laughs> good equivalent. That's a lot of pepper. No, it's fantastic. Okay. And the pasta is, is ready to serve. Ready to serve. Delicious. Delicious. Good job, Chef Audi. Thank Bye -bye. you so much. Thank you so much. This is coronara. How? <laughs> coronara. Carbonara. Carbonara. Served hot immediately. Thank you so much, Chef Audi. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank you.